Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Anime on Draft. Here We're here today with episode 31. I'm just laughing about some previous, pr- prior to recording antics. Yeah, we're, we're real uh, funny. We're real funny. Uh, um, today, I'm, I'm joined here, obviously, as he just spoke, by Drew. What's up, everybody? And Rolando. Yo. Today, we've got a little bit of a different episode, sort of, but not really similar but different um let's go ahead i'm just gonna jump straight in and start off by introducing the beer um i said i would do it so this is the cock mcgaggler schwartz beer um rolando no. picked this one today <laughs> um, the, i'm assuming because of the name it's the kostritzer schwartz beer so cock mcgaggler Schwartz beer. <laughs> you're, so Kost, you're offending all the Germans out there. I'm offending all the Germans. Kostritzer Schwartz beer. It's a black lager beer. It has a pretty cool label, I must say. And yeah. it's got like an old Germany logo. Yeah. Kind of makes you feel cool drinking it like it's you're from, royalty it's from, or it's something. It's from Germany. It is. Yeah. So, Rolando, you picked it. What led you to this decision? Um, I don't think we've done a black lager right so i don't think no, so definitely not it it just looked interesting when i was reading the description and like it's kind of like a dark beer that's not a stout or a porter so it's not going to be as heavy so i just thought kind of like hey let's try it yeah i guess very yeah. cool smells very great cool. well i'm excited for it um so how about we go ahead and just jump right in and give it a little sipperino yeah, yeah, the the head uh, is excellent. I poured it out like twenty minutes ago. When we were trying to figure out microphones, and uh, it's still it's still there. It's it it reminds me of like a Guinness. Yeah, it's got a similar color in that way. A similar taste, even <laughs> to me. It's got the same like brownish, cream white, off white, uh, not brown colored head. Uh, or not head, but uh, yeah, colored head. Um, and then it's dark. Yeah. Really, really dark. So It's not like nitro packaged, right, Rolando? No. Because you got that little tiny bubbles, but... No, it's not like the Guinness where yeah, it's got yeah. the little ball at the, can- at the, the bottom. The thing at the bottom, yeah. It's pretty smooth. I yeah, super think. smooth, super smooth. Yeah, it is very smooth. For me, it's really light. Uh, yeah. The flavor is pretty. It the flavor seems pretty uh, simple, though it's not like really complex. It's kind of like toasty, roasty. I was gonna say it's like it's almost like drinking a, like a pilsner, even though it's so fucking dark. Like you can't even see through this bitch, but it's it's like drinking like a light pilsner. That and that's what it tastes like to me too. Yeah, this is like kind of got like muted, muted chocolate. Kind of raisiny notes. Malt. Raisiny. <clears throat> I get the raisiny. Definitely malt. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can see Mocha. Raisin. That's the color I was trying to think of for like similar oh, to like mocha for the head color. Oh, the head color? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were going to say the whole beer. I'm like, that's darker yeah, than mocha, tastes, my, my man. <laughs> it tastes like coffee, dude. <laughs> no, it, it does not taste like a stout <laughs> at um, all. <laughs> I'm trying to get a scent on it. It smells kind of how it tastes. It smells kind of like a Guinness, to be honest. Um, um, the aftertaste is very, um, very Pilsner. Mm-hmm. Uh, breathe it in. <gasps> drink, drink it through your nose. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know. It's good. It's refreshing for such a dark beer. 
which is yeah, I mean, kind of yeah. what you don't expect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause like I, I poured this out and I'm like, is this going to be like a stout? And I, I took it, like I put, took the first sip and it's like, no, it's, it tastes like a Pilsner. It's like the darkest Pilsner I've ever had. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a brown ale somewhat. So Alec, we, we were having, we were having that conversation the other day. Um, I forget what it was about, but you were like, yeah, when I just like want to get like, sh- like not super shit faced, but I want to drink a lot. I'll buy Guinness because uh-huh. you can, you can just drink it forever. Like yeah, I feel you like don't I, feel like you're going to throw up cause yeah. it's not super filling. Yeah, it's not filling. It's not like super strong. It's just like a good, you know, tasting beer like this. This is that for me. Yeah. I mean, it definitely like has those same aspects. Like when I first sipped this, I was like, Oh, this could be a replacement for Guinness if it weren't just way easier to get Guinness. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Guinness is cheaper. Yeah, it's like three, <laughs> three dollars for like a liter bottle. Yeah, it's three dollars for one pint and point nine full ounces. <clears throat> <laughs> that's uh that's how you pronounce F L O Z full ounces. All right. But um, so how about we go ahead and we rate this bad boy? Let's go ahead and start off with the chooser, Rolando. What you thinking? Um, I like it. It's very simple, like you guys said. I feel like I can drink this like all day. It's not like gonna wear my taste buds out, and I also don't feel like I'm gonna like throw up from being full. Right. Um, by drinking it, it's very unexpectedly light and refreshing. So I'm going to give it a four. I think that's fair. Uh, Drew, what are you, uh, what are you thinking? It's good. It's easy to drink. Um, I, I'm a Guinness fan. I think this would benefit from being uh, a nitro, but you know, we don't live in a perfect world. Um, you know, you get the little raisin, you get the, you know, malty, and then, you know, just super light, easy to drink. Um, for me, um, just because I can see the flavor getting kind of stale and bland after a while, uh, and Guinness says the same thing for me, I'm going to give it a, a three point, uh, I'm in between 3.5 and 3.75. Um, I'll probably give it a 3.5 um, just because I can see after drinking this for a while, it would kind of just... I'd get over the flavor. It's not complex, um, but it's it's a it's a good like one off beer, um, one to have. Um, you know, every once in a while, I can see myself buying it again. Um, so that's uh, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. All right then, uh, you stick to it then with your uh, with your story. Yeah, I, I forgot to mention that this is. Uh, is it? Fuck! What's the percentage? Yeah, what is it? I don't even. What know. is it? I don't know. I thought I saw it before. Uh, Google? Google anyone? <laughs> um, so I'd ignore that. Um, <clears throat> 4.8%. Yeah, that's there we go. about right. 4.8%. So it definitely could be a session beer. I'm going to um, Google Guinness and see alcohol ABV. It's like 4.5 or something. Let's um, see. I'm going to agree along the lines with 4.3. Both of you 4.3. Oh, okay. I was close. I was thinking 4.2 to 4.5. So, um, I'm going to agree. I think it, you know, it's simple. Um, I could drink multiple of these and, uh, not feel super full and sick. Um, I mean, I like stouts. So the roasty toasty kind of flavors are something that I enjoy. Um, I think the one thing that's odd to me is there's a weird middle section on this beer where it like suddenly becomes kind of watery and then the flavor comes back again. It's just odd. Um, it doesn't really detract from it, I'd say. It's just like kind of odd. I'm like, huh. There's like, well, and there's flavor. But um, yeah. all in all, I would definitely buy it again. Um, it's kind of like another Guinness. I It won't replace Guinness for me because Guinness is just easier to get. And you get a six pack for like $4. <laughs> um, but I think all in all, I'm going to give it a... What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Uh, 3.75. There you go. I think is a good solid choice for a good solid simple beer yeah. that I would buy again. Yeah. So um with that we've got the uh 
Kostritz, Kostritzer, Cocksucker, Schwartz, Cockmagogler, Schwartz beer, Black Lager beer, 500 milliliters. Um, when you guys get killed not by bad. Germans, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna feel <laughs> sorry for you. Kostritzer. Um, the sad so part go is ahead. I'm, I'm fucking German, so like, <laughs> even Christ. easier, even easier. Um, so go ahead, everybody, go go out and try this. It's good. It's available at Bevmo in uh, multiple parts of California, at least. The world, um, though. Yeah. So let's move on. We'll go ahead and do our weekly pairing. We'll start out with our uh, short show, Love is Like a Cocktail, episode eight. Eight. Episode eight. Oct- <laughs> <laughs> Oct- episode em. eight. Got egg em. cocktail. <laughs> the, the Eggo cocktail. Egg- eggy sake. Um so this one was kind of cute. It was like a reversal of the typical where he's take care and he's taking care of her and now all of a sudden he's sick and she's trying to take care of him and absolutely failing but not. So yeah. I don't know. That was pretty much all I thought happened. What do you guys think of the uh, uh she she still failed. She <laughs> she's she's the soup. she's the salary man and he's the stay-at-home wife like that that's that's the roles that those two need to play. Um, she put. She's a salary woman. Salary. No, she, woman. no, she's a salary man, and he's a hot wife, and that is what they do. Are you and like she, assuming genders in twenty seventeen? Wow. No, I. Wow. They're they're they are gender fluid, and that's why they can switch roles. Um, but you know, she put sake <laughs> in an egg, and they drank it, and then they sick banged or something. I thought she was good uh, <laughs> cuter in this episode, though, because she kept failing and she was like, ah, <laughs> go, no, go back and rest. And then something's burning. <laughs> and then she's like, all I could make was egg sake. It's like, God, you're pitiful. <laughs> well, the thing Just, is, he's seems like the guy that's like super like OCD about stuff and like really wants to make sure that shit doesn't go wrong. And yeah, like, he's yeah. like probably like sitting there like sick, like, Oh my God, she's going to burn Fart the place down. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, all in all, uh, I don't know if I'd make this a uh, cocktail this week. I don't know no. how willing I'm just, I'm not, I'm like, you know, raring to just go put some sake in an egg. Not really. But, uh, Still a fun episode. And warm it up, too. And warm it up, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, I'll pass on this one. But uh, maybe next egg, one. If you're going to make an egg cocktail, make like a, what is it, like a lemon fizz or something? I don't know. Something. So that's a, that's an okay hand emoji cocktail right there. <laughs> All right. So let's move on now that we're done with the cocktail pairing. Uh, so let's talk about MMO junkie. What is it? What's the full name? Uh, recovery, recovery of an MMO junkie. We've got episode eight and golly G was this episode jam packed. Golly um, G said, golly, golly G. G. Hey, <laughs> you know what? I've been watching a friend of ours play cuphead and I'm just, you know, those old phrases are getting a golly G. All right. Um, <laughs> um, you hear that so, David? Yeah, shout out to David. There he uh, is. There it is. There's your, um, your cameo on the podcast. There's there's your 15 seconds of fame on our small podcast. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, but, you know, I know uh, I know. after you watched the episode, Rolando, you were uh, mentioning that uh, quite a lot of stuff happened. So let's hear your thoughts on uh, episode eight of MMO Junkie. What do you what do you think of everything that happened? <laughs> Well, I mean, I knew all of this was going to happen eventually, but I didn't expect everything to happen in one episode because not only do we get like Sakurai revealing that he's, you know, <clears throat> Hearth or whatever from that other game, like Nanter something. And uh, Maple Story. Yeah, Maple from Maple Story. Maple Satori. <laughs> um,. <laughs> But he also reveals that he's Lily to Mor- to uh, Moriko. And it's just like, wow. Like, I did not expect all of it to happen at once. But I guess in terms of kind of fitting it to, like, what is it, like, going to be 12 or 13 ten, episodes? Ten, it's 10 episodes. episodes. Oh, it's 10 yeah. episodes. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, they definitely needed to put it all in, <laughs> in this episode to get the final conflict of this arc 
out, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, because they just blasted through that yeah. in this episode. And Maple Story characters came out and, and I thought it was through. funny how he how he came to revealing he was Lily because she's like, I want to play with you on my main and hopefully Lily can play. And he's like, that could never happen. And like the way he's and she's like, oh, she's like, oh, right. I'm sorry. That's that was I asked for too much. And it just, she's just like immediately <laughs> shut down. And I was just like, this is fucking hilarious. But. I um I agree with you, Rolando, how it felt like kind of rushed, but at the same time, like when he when um was it he yeah, I think like uh, she called him and they're talking and like his phone dies or whatever. Like I the whole time that was happening, I'm like, please fucking tell her that like you are Lily and like all that stuff. Like please and he does it, but his phone dies. It's you know, like, obviously You're a grown ass man. Like I, a typical I like, rom com. I, I felt like they could have ended the episode there and then given us one more episode for like their his reveal to her, but yeah, I, I still felt like it was okay. I was like, you know, get it out there, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fucking do it. I like um, how I liked though how she called him though because I yeah I was, I was like yelling that. at my screen. I'm like, just call him, please. Yeah, like it, she's like freaking out, like squirming, and and like she actually picked up the phone. I was like, thank you. Like no shit, pay. Like that was good pacing for me. And like no shit, like three episodes stalling of mm-hmm. of pacing and shit like that. Just like fucking nut up and i think i think this is good because um what uh what was this show um last season with um blonde haired girl and gamers. gamers gamers um mm-hmm. where we we talk so much about them, them them <laughs> they're all they're all blonde at this point <laughs> uh, we talk so much about all those kids like because they are kids they're in high school and like them having misunderstanding for not communicating and so by her picking up the phone and like calling him i was just like this is like so satisfying this is like how that show (laughs) should have went um yeah if they weren't 14 yeah so (laughs) she's supposed to be like 32 so like adults so so they and, understand. And, and i and i can appreciate that you know that's 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 super good like they they mm. they understand that age group. okay hand emoji yeah okay hand emoji to the max right there <laughs> su- so su- super grin face so then uh what what do you uh think is going to happen with uh senpai senpai who may or may not be acting like a cuck lord and made the super buff girl do do you think she's gonna go for uh sakurai the guy who keeps cucking himself and then finally nutted up or or she's gonna be like oh sorry i already said i liked the other dude or some bullshit no he's he's out of the game he's 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 comedy at this point comic relief um randomly falling asleep and then having the buff to go oh i'm back (laughs) he's just a plot device yeah he's he's a plot device and and if they do decide to like go with him for something i'm gonna be really upset so i don't think so like she clearly has been interested in sakurai like since the beginning of the show yeah Yeah, i don't think anything will happen either you know when a girl goes like that extra mile in her mmo character and is like super ganky all the time and just like i'm so happy to see you i'm only on the week Weekends, let's grind in Maple Story. Oh yeah, grind dude. in in, in Maple Story. <laughs> um, Maple Story. Y- oh. You know that she's like she fucking wants it. Um, so you know he's our boy Sakurai. He's he's in boys. We we got it. Oh dude, he did it. He he <laughs> broke through the friend zone at least for now. Yeah, yeah. Until she goes, I don't want to ruin my MMO fun. Let's just be friends. Die. And then he's like, fuck, no, are you kidding he's me? He's going to have a, some sort of dumb misunderstanding or some shit like that. Yeah. I'm sure. And then it'll all resolve in the last episode and they'll live happily ever after. Yeah. Like, oh, ha- Harithu, I thought it was Hearth. And then and then, and then they're going to have a kid that's going to be abandoned because they're going to be playing MMO games and it's going to die. <laughs> nice. Like, wah, wah, and then it'll nice. die. But they're just going nice. to forget about it. Neglect well, like, it. It's like uh, there's a there's a story of like a, a Japanese couple like went to a pachinko parlor and they just like left their kid in the car and it fucking died. <laughs> like, <Holy shit. laughs> like that happens in Japan. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, it was a lit episode and I'm excited for the last two because it's 10. You said, right? Correct. Oh, according two. to according to my anime list. 
Oh, so according to that, we've only got two more episodes. So get pumped for whatever misunderstanding will happen and then immediately be resolved either at the end of the same episode or at the start of the (laughs) next one. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, So let's go. Let's go ahead and move on to our happy hour. We've got a sister is all you need. And again, I am enjoying this show a lot and a lot happened in this show as well. Actually, we got, I'll give a quick synopsis. We had the, the, they went to the amusement park because they had never been since kids. And, uh, what's his name? It wants to ask her out. And the other guy is supposed to help her out, but he doesn't because he's a, a little idiot. And there was that whole scene of just the two of them, like on the verge of making out because of a story. And that's the episode. Um, you missed a birthday. They had a birthday party. Oh, they had the birthday for... That's where the story came from. Yeah, the the story where they almost made out because she gave her the tailored oh, story. Yeah. By the way, um, Drew, I'm sure you loved that that personal story part where the story made just for her and it just was a dirty novel. Yeah. They became, that? They, yeah. They became the world, though. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah, with those surprisingly sperm looking comets flying towards yeah, the, right. the new universe. The, the world, though. Yeah. <laughs> they made a new world, and there's just fucking like sperm comets just yeah. wiggling at the globe. Okay, so so basically, what she did is drew she she wrote a story where she got pregnant from the main character guy. Yep. 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 Even though she's in love with the main character guy, she yep. still gave her friend the satisfaction. Of getting of pregnant. Having a, of yeah. getting pregnant from yeah. him. She and said, then, you can have this. <laughs> and then what's his name gets cucked. Your boy Haruto, dude. Haruto, boy yeah. Gets cucked, dude. Yeah. Cucked he, hard. At least he at least he realized it though. Cause like he sees her like crying when they're like going off to like go on their ride or whatever. She was looking like, all she's he's like looking sad. all yeah. He's very he's very perceptive. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. He's such, dude, a, I, he's such a feels bad man character, dude. Yeah, like his really anime is. sucks. He's jealous <laughs> of of Itsuki for like everything that he does. Like his he's his, got both the chicks. Yeah, like he he even says like I'm not as good an author as either of you guys. Like he's his fucking ultimate feels bad man. And, but, and he has to pretend to be gay on Twitter. Like <laughs> he doesn't have to pretend to be gay. That's his own choice. <laughs> he's choosing to pretend to be he, gay. No, he has to to sell the books, dude. He, Otherwise, he'll, be, he'll die. What he does have though is he has a loving little sister who has the worst personality. It's like worse than Aramanga. Worse than Sagiri. No, she just loves no. her brother so much, and he doesn't ever hang out with she's her. Just, and it makes her she's just she's just the same <laughs> Cinder personality as what's her name from Servant X Service, like oh. the little sister in that one. Oh god, she's great though in that. She just wants she's to always mad. Sal- her set her salary Servant her salary her salary man brother just do well and support the family. Oh, is that the? Oh, I know, I know. That's the one where uh, the one girl is in the office and she has like giant boobs. Yes. Is that the one? And yeah, she's yeah. In like a, a, Seifu, a Seifuku that's like reddish pink. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, don't, I know. That one's Slice of Life, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it's, that show's it's, it's okay like, hand emoji. It's no, like Blend S. I loved that show, dude. Speaking of which, Hasebe from um, Servant X Service is the voice of the Akizuki in Blend S, Drew. <clears throat> Akizuki. Ooh. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> you should just watch it. Yeah, just just watch that show, dude. I will. I will. Um, but yeah, um any any uh thoughts on where they're going to go from here, uh Rolando? Me? Um yeah. I mean Put you on the spot. Patow. I I kind of figured this is what was going to happen. We kind of talked about it in the last episode where I thought that Harto was going to get help from Itsuki and then eventually find out that Miyako liked Itsuki and that's exactly what happened. Yep. Um, then I kind of feel now that it's kind of Miyako's turn to, you know, sort out her feelings and then resolve that conflict with um, Nayuta. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that's where it's going. I mean, I have to say, like, I really do, like feel bad for both Haruto and Miyako 
because they kind of they probably would be like a, a good couple together. Yeah. But they both so it's like he like wants to be with her, but she likes someone else. And then, you know, she like for some reason like can't get over this infatuation with Itsuki. But I mean I guess I can understand it's because she like finds his, you know, drive and all of that refreshing, I guess. It's something she doesn't have. So. I wanna I wanna kind of like combat you a little bit there where you know she she she, swords. she is like she I agree with you. She does like the drive of Itsuki. Uh but she she also was like super appreciative of like Haruto and like even though his anime sucks, like she's like, You were passionate about this, you you were working on this, you know, and she even started crying and and that's what you know spurned uh him to like her. Spurned? Spermed, spermed <laughs> him uh, to like her. Um, so, like, I get that, but I think it's just like she has it in her mind that you know she met him first and like knows, kind of knows him and is attracted to him, and so it's like she has to has to figure out those feelings before she can do anything else. Um, so I, 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 like I said, I, like I, I don't attribute it all just to like oh, like. I'm obsessed with your drive because I think she does appreciate Tartu's like drive and stuff like that too. But she's so obsessed with Itsuki that she just doesn't see him as, as like an, a partner. It's Cause she loves Itsuki's attraction. Books. Yeah. Even though yeah. she doesn't really know what's going on in them a lot of the time, as well, she said, I think like the main, <laughs> the main difference is Haruto is just like a hardworking guy mm-hmm. and has, he does have a drive, but he doesn't have it. He doesn't have passion. Like whereas Iski has the passion. Yeah, I agree. There's there's like a difference and like it's the difference between um like a good example is between being inspired by like a professional athlete. Like, of course, like every professional athlete out there works hard and has drive, but the people that inspire you are the ones that have the it factor. Like Michael Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, like all of those people, like they have this it factor and like this kind of way of pulling people towards them that I kind of feel like Haruto doesn't really have that. Um, he's more of like a, like, I don't want to say bench warmer, but that's kind <laughs> of what he, what he he's, is. He's generic and he's trying to fit a mold. You can, like we yeah. joked about the Twitter thing. It's like he's trying to like fit like what he thinks his followers will like. Or, you know, he's trying to, you know, compete with these guys who just have raw talent. Whereas, like, he's he's worked at it hard and he – but he doesn't necessarily have, like, the talent that translate into being so a great. If he – if Itsuki is the Michael Jordan, then Haruto would be one of the other dudes who works hard and is very consistent all the time. But you don't notice him because he's never exceptional. Yep. Yep. <laughs> He'd be the – the guys who make it so that the Jordans can can be the Jordans. Yeah. The number one assist. Is this a sports yeah. anime? Yeah, this <laughs> is a sports, sports anime. anime. You just I out. fucking love sports animes. This is a guys. sports anime. Slam dunk. Sports animes are the best, okay? <laughs> All right, anyways. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah, this uh, anime is surprisingly complex in a lot of ways. I thought I it mean, was going to be think, really troll. Think, think about where we are now compared to when the first five minutes of this show. <laughs> yeah, where we all almost turned it off because it was like, <laughs> I'm going to drink my sister's milk like, and I'm smelling her panties, like <laughs> her freshly laid eggs. Like, uh, what the fuck yeah. is going on? It's just tight. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's, yeah. it's a good show. So yeah. <laughs> let's move on. Uh, we got a couple more topics. We're going to throw in something new right now to spice up the show spicy. on this episode. Spicy. A little spicy. Yeah. Um, so th- right now we're, I'm going to, I'll start with you, Drew. Uh, we'll start with uh, animes or manga or just, you know, something that we want or that like if you, for anime, you want to see a sequel that it hasn't gotten one. If you read a manga and you want it to get an anime adaptation and it hasn't gotten one, um, 
So shoot. What do so, you want? Um, you wrote one for me, but I'm, I'm not going to say that. That's one. because you said it. <laughs> you said gonna. it. So I put it down for you. You were too scared that you would be judged. This is a judge free zone. Say so, your desires. Okay. So I'm, I'm not going to say that one. Uh, the, show Aramanga that, sensei. <laughs> the show that I'm actually going to pick is not Aramanga sensei. Um, even, even though I love Elf, Elf Yumata Sensei, um, I, 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 I'm going to say, um, Amagi Brilliant Park. Um, if you have not seen this show, it is great. The animation is okay. Hand emoji. The characters are okay. Hand emoji. There's tons of references to American rappers. Like most of the characters are named after like American Raptor, uh, rap, <laughs> raptors. raptors, dude. American Holy rap- shit. <laughs> American Raptors. The North, American the, Raptors. The North American Raptors. So, such a <laughs> such a exquisite being. Um, but God. rappers, um, like Se- <laughs> like Sento is is one of the main characters. Sento Kaiba, and she's named after Fifty Cent. Um, so you know, there's that. Um, great characters. They're trying to save the Hime Sama. Um, they're trying to save this amusement park. Um, all the characters are great. The main character is kind of an idiot, but um, great fan service, um, beautifully animated, great story, keeps you, you know, wanting to come back and, uh, you know, just just a, just an overall good show. Um, the opening to the OP, OK Hand Emoji, go listen to that. It is uh, fantastic. I like the ending And song. secretly, he really wants Aramanga Sensei the most of all. Well, if it can be a show only about Sagiri, like we're we mm. we, we good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be mm-hmm. called Step by Step. That's lit. Dude. <laughs> 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 Each episode, walk. you go down one stair. <laughs> oh God! I did it! <laughs> and then she kicks her brother. Oh, he did it! Him the door. Kicks him, yeah, kicks him the nuts. Yeah, and then <laughs> get, runs away. Get the fuck out of here! And then she bitch. runs up the stairs. She can run up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> she can't go down. Dude, gravity's like no. her fucking worst enemy. <laughs> She's like, if I take a step down, I'll just tumble. And my legs will crumple. I can't do it. <laughs> well, uh, since Rolando hasn't told us uh, which one he's going to choose, we'll save him for last. So it's the suspense keeps building. Oh, shit. The oh, suspense shit. keeps building. Drew and I both typed shit, ours out son. so that we would know. But And Rolando said he'll keep a secret and we probably don't know what the show is. So here, you know, let the suspense build. I'm building it right now. Building like Bob the... Anyways. Um, so, so the show that I would pick, I put uh, the Kawaii Complex Guide to... Sh- blah, you know, manners and hostile behavior. I loved that show. All right, that show had really good comedic timing to me, and it was beautifully animated, as Drew would say. <laughs> and I thought it just had the the plot was like f- interesting. It, you know, it wasn't really much of a plot, but there was a plot, and it was a uh, it was funny. Kept my interested. I did like the animations. There was excellent fan service. Legitimately, I'm not trying to make fun of Drew. <laughs> um, and <laughs> and uh, thanks, thanks, dude. Thanks. You're welcome. No, I did think they did have good fan service. I did like the animation. Um, and the main characters, like the main guy and the girl who's just always reading, it, it just it was done really well. And I thought it had really good comedic timing. But a non comedy that I also want to see is Noragami. <clears throat> I just like that show. I know Drew, you hate it, it did, right? It did get a sequel. <clears throat> no, like a, a new means, sequel. Like another one. Another. I want to see the third sequel. You I like think. you like that show? Yeah, I fucking loved it. It was fun to watch, dude. I liked the main character, the dude. Only, even he was the crazy. only the only reason like that show like has any redeeming qualities for me is because the voice actor for the main character is um from Monogatari. That's the only thing that saves that show. Oh god, now you mean like you mean Tiara uh from uh Gundam Double O? Yeah. You mean that one? Yeah. Oh now I can like the main character again. Uh but uh, yeah, no, I like that show. Um, I thought it was fun. I enjoyed watching it. The action was cool. But um, I think, you know, I would be happy seeing a, a sequel of either of those. Also, there is a manga that I did read. It's about a guy that dies. He randomly gets stabbed on the, on, on the sidewalk. And then he gets reincarnated into a fantasy world as a slime. I think that would be a fun show to watch. So uh, anyways... 
Dun dun dun. Oh, oh, Wait, okay. are there we, we go. are we doing sequels or are we doing manga into anime? I did both. Oh. Or Kano Los Dos. <laughs> Um, just because I thought of it just now, but you can do whatever your heart desires so long whatever as you break the suspense. Your heart break the suspense. Desires. Yeah. All right, what? Well, I mean, don't pick last were load. you? What did you pick? <sighs> oh pick fuck! You ruined his choice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything to say anymore. Well. Oh well, that's well, the show, well, guys. We'll, <laughs> have a good night. we'll see you guys later. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'll give you a more recent show first before I give you the actual show, that uh, I f- feel like should get a third season. Uh, that is Sai Kano, just so that they finish yeah, the story. <clears throat> um, but the show I was talking about that needs to get its, um, I guess, fourth season is, uh, you know, but the actual third season of it is a show that some of our listeners may know as Full Metal Panic. Yeah, no. I haven't, I haven't seen it. <laughs> you guys don't know what Full Metal Panic is. I've heard the name. It's I've meh. heard the name, it's, but I haven't seen it's it. It's meh for me. I watched the first season. I've never seen it. All right, so you guys have no idea. The no, main reason why KyoAni is on the map is because of Full Metal Panic. It's not <laughs> K-On. Um <clears throat> But yeah, I mean, I kind of wish that KyoAni would do a fourth season and if not them like someone just like does like finishes the story um that show like i watched back in high school and you know it's like nostalgic for me i feel like it should have like a finished story um but in terms of the other topic that alec brought up which is like a manga becoming an anime uh, there's one manga that I've been following a lot um, that I feel like would be a really good comedy, and that is uh, Kaguya Wants to Be Confessed to, Genius's War of Love and... Hold on. Genius's War of Love and something. Um, it's basically the premise for that is... Well, this helicopter flies over. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. They're coming. They're coming. <laughs> oh, the jasmine. There's oh, a... God. There's this main girl, and she's the student council vice president at this prestigious elite Japanese school, high school, and she's in love with the student council president, but like she feels like confessing to the other person means you've lost, and that you like it's like a war that you have to get the other person to confess to you, and then the other main character the student council president likes her, but sees love as like the same thing, you know, you lose if you confess to the other person. So um, they get to like some pretty funny antics. There's a lot of good side characters in that. And um, Drew would enjoy it because that main girl, the student, the student council vice president, she has this smug face that she puts on that's kind of like I do like smug face that's kind of like like Micah from Blend S oh I I I do like all that yeah (laughs) most of the time it's in the in the student council president's head that he thinks that she's looking down on him but yeah it's it's a pretty funny I I like it even more because because of that oh (laughs) (laughs) can I add can I add one can I add one yeah go ahead I, I want to also add The Devil is a Part-Timer. Um, Rolando, did, you, you probably watched this one, didn't you? I did, yeah. It, it's so good. All the characters are great. The main character is awesome. He like used to be like the Devil King, and then he gets transported to Earth, and he loses all his powers, and so he has to go work at McDonald's, um, and just all the fucking hijinks and shit that he gets into. That was a great A show. Um, art is awesome. Um, the opening uh, is awesome. Excellent fan service. Great, uh, unbelievable Beautiful fan animation service. And she, she's she's holding service. she's holding cheeseburgers at one point in front of her tits and like oh, walking nice. around and they go like, oh, those are great buns or something. It's just like you know, great. Just overall a, gr- a great wholesome show. Um, <laughs> So yeah, watch that one, Alec, if if you haven't, because that 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 is also a good show. 
you, you're gonna have to rename it so I can remember because the I'll devil the devil is a part time is a part timer. You're gonna have to lonk me something like type it out to me somewhere. Ha, hat, <laughs> Hataraku Nausama. Devil. Wait, did Got you it. say you wanted Nisekoi as no? Your, I, your I most do not wanted want sequel? Nisekoi. <laughs> I. Uh, I've I've read so much Nisekoi and it's just like it's the same shit over and over again. <laughs> I I love that Shaft animated it because I love anything that Studio Shaft does. But my god, fanboy, that is I am I am a Shaft fan shit. But my <laughs> my my god, that show just like killed me. Now it's the same fucking thing over and over and over again. Best girl doesn't win. Nobody wins. It's the main character's an idiot. The, let's not get into that. That makes me really, really <laughs> upset. So, I'll I'll throw this out there. Uh, if uh, if you guys think our choices are shit, comment and tell us. Yeah. Or uh, chime you in. Won't. Tell us the <laughs> tell you us uh, what animes you want to see sequels of. If you have any suggestions for manga, we should check out that you think would make. Cool anime adapta- adaptations. Not that we have any hand in making that happen, but we're interested in checking them out. Um, go ahead and throw those in comments somewhere. We'll talk about it, and I we'll mean, talk about them, and we'll bring it up. And we won't, we won't change anything, but we'll talk about it. <laughs> you'll be part of the show with us. It'll be like you're here yeah. talking with us. Yeah. You guys, you guys should definitely read. Um, Kaguya no. wants to be confessed to. <clears throat> All right. Well, if you, you don't want to read that, you should. You I should can't read. read. I know That's you can't true. read, but you can look at pictures. Um, <laughs> Ooh. Oh, pretty picture. <laughs> I just want to see smug Mike. If you, That's if, all you don't, if you don't read that, there's like a um there's a manga that it's like I think it's like a web one, but like it comes out like every day um with like a just a new page and it's Tomochan. Um wa onanoko, I can't um find the exact translation, but it's basically like Tomo is a girl. Um, Tomo is a girl. I don't know what the in- English title is, uh, but that one's <laughs> like a fee. pretty. Yes. Por qué no los dos? Oh my god! <laughs> Anyways, check that one out if you uh, have a short attention span like Drew. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Uh, Hello. So, what are we doing? <laughs> Hello, oh, we're, rec- we're we're recording. We're Drew. We're we're recording. You need to calm down. Hello, this is <laughs> this is Dad. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, we got some time left. So let's uh, move on to one last show and give it a quick whirl. We got Shukukeki this week, and uh, I know Drew had a uh, a couple things he wanted to say about Cucklord Nine Thousand yeah. from the show. Yeah. So uh, shoot. First off, R- uh, Rindo. Senpai, my God, what what a what a fucking angel she is! is Send down from the heavens just to eat food and orgasm for us. You know, we're 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 all blessed uh, blessed to have her. Um, I also wanted to point out Aizen's faces, like what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like when he turns around and he looks like a weird tentacle monster. Look, yeah, or like yeah. those were those were disturbing and and awesome yeah. at the same time. Um, but yeah, we we have our boy, our boy uh, Soma protecting uh, protecting this house. Uh, Polar Star. Polar He's Storm. not even doing anything. He's the protecting Polar, Polar Star Storm. people are fucking cucking the shit out of those like raiders, dude. Well, they're 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 all working <laughs> together like a big happy family, and I and I'm I'm happy to see it. You know, we have the Polar Star residents uh, smoke bombing and uh, fire <laughs> hosing. Fire hose. how, how, how do they get the, the fire hose to crank it up to that pressure from within a house? Nobody knows. Um, There's a but, hydrant. Yeah, I guess so. I You know, they got all that money from when uh, Soma's dad they used was... Gravity, uh, Alec. <laughs> they gravity. Used gravity. They used magnets. They used gravity and magnets. <laughs> gravity and magnets. You know what it really is? Jesus is Christ. The, they the old lady. The old lady really had to pee, like really bad. Oh my and she's God. just. I, I don't want. I don't want that image in my head. <laughs> now um, you have it. So I'm going to talk about food instead. You know, Soma made uh, some bomb ass chicken wings that were like taken from the. 
the the bird the chicken they kept talking about it's like a silky chicken i think they call it in america it's like a fatty like huge ass fucking chicken that tastes amazing um and he made chicken wings out of it uh which looked fucking dope and he made gyoza out of it dude well, they were, it was like, to me, it was like fucking wings. Like, he, he stuffed, stuffed, he stu- he stuffed wings. Got the well, I mean, he, he technically yeah. did stuff a fucking chicken wing with pork. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. that's not fucking gyoza. Gyoza is like a, a like a chicken rapper, wing gyoza. Like. <laughs> chicken wing gyoza. Yeah, and, with uh, special sauce. Yeah, uh, with Parmesan and special sauce, which uh, makes the ladies' panties drop. Um, mm-hmm. But, sauce. and then, and then Eisen made like, uh, just like basic. I mean, it looked good, but it was just like basic, like boiled, <laughs> just basic. Boi- boiled chicken with sauce. <laughs> um, I bet it tasted fucking amazing. No, no, I bet it tasted, no, no, tasted, bet it tasted fucking good, but it was it was boiled chicken with rice and. It sauce. wasn't stuffed fatty chicken wings. Yeah, it wasn't fucking water and leave marinade chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you see, did fucking you see water and leaves? Dude. Did you? Did you, see you can't the, get better uh, than water and some fucking leaves. Just eucalyptus, dude. <laughs> A-OK poison right there. You see, uh, you see the uh, the Aldini boys though when he put that Parmesan in, they were they were freaking out. They're like, oh, par- oh par- 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 oh, no. oh, he stole this from our people. Parmesan, <laughs> 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 And I then they had to they, they yeah, had to be the ones that. they had to be the ones that say that tomatoes and Parmesan cheese go very well together and have umami. Tomatoes are just like an umami bomb. I feel like we haven't said umami <laughs> enough on this show, so we gotta we gotta drop in like way more umami. They haven't said umami much in yeah, this season. I, I was surprised. That's that was like the running joke for forever. But they also <laughs> yeah, haven't well, really orgasmed much this. Uh, yeah, that's no. true too. They I mean, just did. Rindo was like the first like big one that we got, and that was ugh, that, that was, and the judges. Oh, I don't care about them. But we haven't had I, any I, like. I don't <clears throat> care. We haven't about had about any that. first episode. Like <laughs> once, right. like when they're where no, where they're like they've got like juice exploding out of all their privates, yeah. and it's just going like umami, 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 umami <laughs> across yeah. the screen, dude. That the first episode was t- still the most lit. That shit was just I watched that and I was like, I have to watch this show. Like this show is amazing. I've actually been uh, rewatching it with a couple of my buddies who've never seen it before, and they're like. This shit is like the most intense, ridiculous shit that I've ever seen. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. And they, and they love it. And it's, it's it's just it's a good show. Like everyone can relate to it. It's uh, on a basic level. These dudes are cooking, and they're it's a tournament arc. It's just tournament arcs over and over and over again. So it's just like fun, intense cooking, which is awesome. Sports yeah. anime. Sport, sports. It is a sports anime. anime. It is a sports anime. Hell yeah. <laughs> to an extent, yeah. Yeah. So, but that's you what know? we need to name this episode sports <laughs> sports anime that's sports n- anime n- FTW. It's not yeah. working. We're not. Gonna <laughs> Let's not name it that. <laughs> Can we name it? And re- on that note, <laughs> re- 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 no senpai. No, that's uh, not. We're not going to name that either. Oh my god. <laughs> We're uh, we're 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 coming up on our time here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut us off before we go up on a another tangent because we're very good at going off on tangents. But um, like we said before, if you want to join in the conversation of animes that you want to see a sequel to or manga you want to see an adaptation to, go ahead and comment in the I would say the WordPress. Because the YouTube will be up later. Um, and then. Yeah, if, we still don't have episode 29. Or 30. Or 30. <laughs> um, also, keep an eye out for uh, the anime shorts. You could call them anime shot, anime on draft shots. Yeah. That's why the R is in parentheses. They're shots. Um, those will be up on our WordPress, YouTube, uh, SoundCloud. So go ahead and you can get all our full episodes there as well. Um, so keep an eye out for that. WordPress is anime on draft.wordpress.com. You can get access to the SoundCloud and the iTunes or sorry, the iTunes and the YouTube and the SoundCloud. Yeah. From there yes. and the Twitter, <laughs> the Twitter is in the social, uh, there's like a little social or when you go to the link, it's on the right. There's a little, like there's a Twitter icon, just click it, you know, do that. Um, I'd say Instagram, but we haven't used it. So go ahead and check all that out and. See you next time, y'all. Bye. Later.